Well, we're here at the Holland Lamb Museum, Batavia, New York, July of 2012, and this is where uh, Captain William Morgan lived, and uh, the author of Morgan's Freemasonry, uh, Nature in Nature of Mason Masonry, which was uh, an expose to some extent of uh, the Masons. Um, the story is that um, he was. Born in 1775, uh, he served in the War of 1812 under Andrew Jackson, uh, born in um, Baltimore. He moved up here into the Batavia area. He was a member of the Mason, Masonic uh, Lodge in um, Leroy, and because he liked to drink and liked to talk a lot, he was um, not accepted in the Masonic Lodge. As a result of that, he got quite upset, and he uh, said he was going to write an expose of their various rituals. And an, the owner of the Republican Advocate, who was not uh, sympathetic to the Masons, said, sure, let's, I'll, I'll publish it. So it was published, and uh, the word spread about it, and um, he got uh, many death threats against Morgan and uh, the Masonic fraternity paid for the notice and caution advertisement to appear in the Canadagian newspaper on August 9th of 1826. And um, anyway, he uh, was actually arrested on what some people say was a trumped-up charge, uh, borrowing somebody's clothes, a friend's clothes or some clothes. He, the, this case was dismissed, but he got charged for not paying a, short, a small debt of $2.68. He was uh, put in a local prison here, and uh, the two Masons, uh, Lawton Lawson and Nicholas Chesborough, uh, feared that he'd be released from jail in the morning. They paid his fine, and then when he got out of the um, jail, they forced him into a waiting carriage and brought him up to Niagara, where he was never seen again. And uh, this actually ended up into, uh, leading into the formation of the anti-Masonic party which actually was the first third party in the United States, 1828. And there's a picture of the, um, the pro-Morgan uh, people that put this together. Uh, and then this is a picture of what uh, the Mason City looked like, sort of a, a vagabond and a vagrant. And there's a monument, um, a cemetery down the road here that uh, to, uh, erected in 1882 with donations by over 2,000 people throughout North America uh, talking about the um, commemorating the event of his kidnapping and uh, the book is still in print and it really isn't uh, what I would call a smoking gun type of book it just sort of so goes into the rituals and on YouTube there's a very poorly acted videotape or video of the uh, the Morgan story which like they sell here at the Historical Society it's interesting an interesting aside is that um, uh, Captain Morgan's widow ended up marrying Joseph Smith, who was the man who founded the Mormon Church, and they divorced, and she later became a nun. Anyway, it's interesting, very interesting place here, and uh, the story of Captain Morgan, and you can probably get this book on Amazon or uh, Google Books, but uh, like I say, it's not really all that terribly interesting.